Claire Mahoney is our next speaker, and Claire's three-minute thesis title is Making Plastics Hot. Welcome. Thank you. I just want to say one word to you, plastics. <laughs> There's a great future in plastics. This is my favorite quote from the movie The Graduate, because even Dustin Hoffman in the 1960s knew that there was a great future in plastics. And it makes sense because plastics are great. They're easily processable, they're economically viable, and they're versatile. They make luxuries like iPhones more affordable to necessities, like prosthetics more affordable to people that previously couldn't afford it. And they permeate almost every facet of our lives, from the pens we write with to the socks on our feet. Plastics, or in other words, polymers, however, are not perfect. Let's take, for example, looking at their microstructure. Your average plastic looks closer to a loose pile of spaghetti than it does to a ni nicely ordered material like a metal wood. And because of this, this limits where polymers or plastics can actually be applied to, which is why we don't see things like plastic pots or pans. However, where the average person would see limitations, a good tartan sees opportunity. <laughs> now, it's already been shown that adding, uh, adding particles to plastic or stretching plastic can increase the thermal conductivity. But why and by how much, no one really knows. So this is where I come in. The, mummy, the main focus of my work is to actually look at plastics and see what determines the thermal conductivity and by how much. Oh, by the way, thermal conductivity is essentially the material's ability to transmit heat. So, um, because much thanks to Chris Modicheski of our chemistry department here at CMU, we actually have a technique called ATRP that allows us to make polymer chains of very well-defined length, identity, and structure. So I use this technique to create side-by-side -side plastic systems that have one isolated parameter different between them. Say, for example, the shape of my polymer or the interaction energies between them. And I see just how much that one parameter changes the thermal conductivity in our systems. What I've found so far is that when we introduce favorable mixing or we elongate those chains, we can get significant increase in our thermal conductivity seen in our plastics when compared to the neutral or the unstretched polymer counterparts. If we figure out what parameters affect thermal conductivity in plastics, we can learn how to optimize thermal conductivity. If we can make thermally conductive plastics, we can do anything from making affordable computers, or much more affordable computers, to flexible cell phones. But really, the possibilities are endless, because there's a great future in plastics. So think about it. Will you think about it? <laughs> <laughs>